right, so we made it to the first pond. It was an extremely bumpy ride. Ooh, looks like someone had fun out here. Oh, I remember this place. Okay, all right. We're just gonna... All right, so that's what where we're at. Yes, I'm wearing an orange vest. I'm technically off the road, so I have to wear one. So, uh, yeah, there's someone out here. Let's get parked so we can get fishing. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Dem Fish Though. If you follow me on Instagram, then you will have seen a post where I talk about getting stung in the foot by a stinging caterpillar. My foot is still on fire today. Yeah, it, it feels like I'm walking on hot coals on my right foot, in the arch of my foot. So, that's fun, but I don't care, I'm still gonna go fishing. It's very murky, like very, it, it did rain just a little bit yesterday, so I'm hoping that I'll catch some fish, but if not, eh, whatever, I'm just exploring. Um, I also hope that I can get out of this sugar sand very <laughs> easily. I'm probably just gonna toss a worm out there first um, and see if anything bites. I'm probably gonna spend like 15 minutes here. If nothing bites, then I'll just leave. I don't I don't even know if there's fish out here, to be honest, it doesn't look, I mean, you can see it. It doesn't look like there's anywhere for fish to like hide. That dark spot might be grass. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up, I'm ready to get fishing. So I have no clue how, whoop, how deep or shallow this is. It looks like it kind of like drops off, but I think that's just grass. Um, so we're gonna eat that <laughs> out there and see what happens, if anything. I'm not really expecting anything, to be honest. I could try the EPF swim. That's a pretty good spot, like if there's any fish out there, I mean. But I, I honestly don't think there are fish. This looks like a fun place to swim, though. Little bounces, little bounces. I don't think there's any fish out here. It almost looks like a really recently dug borrow pit that hasn't been stocked yet, but it's been marked on my dad's GPS for God knows how many years. I think I just dragged it through some grass. I don't see it flashing. <laughs> yeah, I dragged it through some grass. Come here. It's my comfort bait. I don't think there's fish out here. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. Guess what? You're not gonna like it. We're going back to that creek. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Oh no wait, no. I forgot, that other pond. Okay, I'll see you at that other lake actually. It's pretty big. I don't know if it classifies as a lake or a pond, but it, it's big. But I used to fish at this place all the time with my dad. And my mom would sometimes come out, but she's not a big, like, angler. So she'd sit in her chair while me, my dad, and my sister would fish. My dad, one time, he and I came out here for the first time in a very, very, very long time. And I was fishing over here in the kitty lake, pond, puddle, whatever which is what I dubbed it. Um, and he was fishing over there in the big lake, which doesn't have very many access points. Um, no, I'm not expecting anything, to be honest. And he actually caught a pike. I will try to find the photo, but I think it was on my phone that I flushed down the toilet. That is a story for another time. <laughs> he was fishing right here. And I'm just checking for snakes. That looks like Looks like a gator may have come up here. <laughs> Anyways, he was fishing here and he caught a pike. And it was a good, like, pound, pound and a half pike. About that big. And ever since that day, I was like, I need to catch a pike. They're so cool. And it, what's really funny is my dad, he was just in, like, autopilot or something. And he licked it. <laughs> and he said he felt the tooth hit his bone. That's how toothy then than our critters be. So I know there's pike out here. And I know there's pike that can break, break, break my PB. And that very first pickle that I caught on this channel was my very first ever. Good Lord. 
Talk about tannic acid stain. I can't see this thing until it's about three inches below the surface. I want to get a kayak or like a John boat or something like that so I can go out in the middle of this pond because I'm pretty sure that is where the fish are going to be. Well, obviously that's where the fish are going to be. I'm not expecting to catch anything out here to be honest because this is a very heavily fished uh, pond, lake, whatever. And to, oh, what was that? I think that was just grass. And to get out here, you have to pass by like 20 different homes. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure all those people hit up this place a lot. I don't know if I'm gonna stay here for a whole hour or go somewhere else. But today is supposed to be an excellent fishing day, so hopefully I don't get skunked. But if I do, I mean, that's fishing. All right, we're here. We're gonna plop a worm in the water and we're probably gonna sit here until 12. I would go to Grass Creek, but I've lost too much tackle today already. So I'm gonna get me some water because I ate, oh, excuse me. I ate a Slim Jim and a pickled sausage. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Hopefully, when the bite turns on, I catch a few fish. And you know how it be. You gotta get that EPF swim out there. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> that is so goofy looking. And we are gonna go and fish on that side, too. Maybe I should start off over there. Since I didn't get the fish over there yesterday. Let's go to the other side. Well, let's toss it out in the middle. Yeah, right there. That's good. Come on. I was facing that way. Did y'all see it or were my arms in the way? Was it a turtle? A turtle? Or was it a fishy? Oh, my hip is popped. Ugh. Let's... That's clear, we can fish over here. Dang. I've been looking into how to catch bowfin. Because the last time I caught them, it was purely by accident. So it was just a child, you know? I caught two, like three pounders, 18 inches back to back. Dad actually measured and weighed them. So, pretty big bowfin, right? And I, I want to catch another one to add to my life list, but also because they are so fun. Yes! No! Oh! You! I didn't set the hook hard enough, don't you dare. Okay, so they want it on the bottom. Good to know, good to know. Um, I don't know if I hooked it. If I didn't, then it should come back for more, right? That's how it works. Anyways, I forgot what I was saying, but bowfin, yeah, I want to catch one so bad. So, I've been looking into it, and I looked up, like, the top baits and stuff like that, when to catch them, where to catch them. Turns out, this would be an excellent place, right? This would be an amazing place to catch them. Oh, that was, that was a fish. Because they like stagnant water, which, that part I knew. Um, they like night crawlers, so in the spring, which is the best time to catch them apparently, I'm going to get some night crawlers and come out here and to Grass Creek and other places that are like stagnant water, or not stagnant, because stagnant is gross, still water, um, and try and catch me a bowfin. And then my next target will be gar. Because gar. They are so cool looking. I'm talking too much. Like, a lot of this is not gonna go in the video. I should probably stop. I'll keep recording for this, just to see if I get it back on camera. 
Oh, yeah, hello, Lynn. I forgot I pulled you out. <coughs> new, new. Oh, what? Okay. Cool. I'm not gonna complain about that. Perfect. <sighs> I hooked one fish and it felt pretty good too. Okay, maybe I should get on the other side of this. Oh. Oh. Let me guess. War mouth. Ten bucks says it's a war mouth. Ten bucks says I'm right. Oh no. Good thing I need to go back and get a picture of it anyways. Oh god, it's over there. I forgot where I was. Anyways, oh gosh, that hurt. First fish of, oh, he didn't swallow it too bad. First fish of the day. First species of the day. War mouth. I'm just gonna, oh, that hurt. I'm just gonna get him out, I mean, get him unhooked and put him in over here so I don't have to walk all the way back over there. There we go, Put out. Then we're gonna get this fish back in the water. He had it down there, it wasn't quite in his gullet though, so that's good. All right. Woo. Bye. So, didn't get skunked, so that's good. Hopefully my rod's not in the water with a huge bowfin on it. What time is it? bite should be on right now. All right, so we're here at Grass Creek. Um, we're gonna fish here for a little bit. And then I'm thinking, I'm thinking, yes, it hurts. No, I'm just kidding. I am thinking, though, of trying to go to, um, we called it Coontail Lake or Coontail Pond. I'm thinking of trying, at least trying, to get out there and get fishing, right? Because maybe I can catch some more of those hybrids and get better photos of them. It is a bird. Y'all, I know y'all can't see it, but there's a bird down there. So let's see if I can catch a fishy. Is it stuck? I got hit. And it's another, oh no, it's a flyer, sweet. Stop, stop, stop. Looks like the bite might actually be on. I'm thinking at the other creek, they just moved further down the creek, you know? So they're not all right there. Where we're used to catching them. Hey, hey, another one. That's a good looking fish. It's not big enough to eat and really skinny, but good looking fish. Well, it got cloudy. It's supposed to rain a lot tomorrow. Um, it's not going to be a thunderstorm though. And I am seriously half tempted to come out here and just fish in the rain. Won't be able to use my camera or my phone to take photos of the fish. So I'll have to like hold them up in front of the cam camera, the GoPro, until... Yeah! Another warm mouth. These fish are so beautiful. This is making me want to get a worm on, and on that, and toss it out there. And see if I can't catch me a kitty cat. I got it out there waiting, getting nibbles, little nibbles. The way to catch a catfish is just leave it there and wait. So I'm not going to touch that until either I leave or I catch a fish. Now I'm going to do a stupid and turn my back on it and hope to catch something over there. It's like I'm ice fishing. That's one thing I really, really, really want to do. I want to go ice fishing. I can't wait until... 
This is mostly water again. He wanted it. Okay, yeah, that's an easy uh, get out ness state. They're going up in size, just not enough. I didn't get the ice to keep my drinks cool. I mean, I did, but I didn't. Alright, I'm not gonna bore y'all with them. I know it's kind of boring to just watch the monotony of. Monotony? Did I just use a big word? It's a big word for me. I'm from the South. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to bore y'all with the monotony of catching. If I catch a big one, or a bowfin, or a pike, or something, I'll bring you back. Time to reel this in. We're going to go to Coontail Lake, pond, whatever. That was the tiniest of thumps. Oh, I like, I, I barely felt it. That was so cute. Oh, worm gone? No. Can we get species number three for the episode? Nope, well we can get another warm mouth. <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all at, uh, oh, chunky. I'll see y'all at Coontail Lake Pond, whatever. Alright, we made it. It was actually kind of fun getting back here. <laughs> I'm going to do what I did last time. I'm going to start off with the EPF rope this time, um, because first cast I caught a fish. I don't know if that'll happen this time, now that I'm recording. Dang, it's down. But hey, I can reach further. So that's good. Oh, I see one. It's tiny though, I'm not going to be able to catch it. Is that a crappie? Hold on one second. Because it does not look like a bluegill, it's wider, or taller, rather. Really? I should have come out here at 12 o'clock, but I didn't. Oh my gosh, there's a baby gator right there. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. That, and when I say baby, like, that thing is two feet long. God, it's so adorable. The fish are probably on the other side. I kind of want to get closer to it and try to get a photo with my camera. This is why I always say that I need to be careful. I'm not going to be able to sneak up. Listen. That's sneaky, huh? Look at him. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's sitting there with his arms out, just staring at me like, oh, Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, Frankie. I'm gonna name you Frankie. Frankie the Gator. What? The, I must have some repressed memory of a gator named Frankie that I just don't remember. Uh, well, that's what a repressed memory is. Alright, we're gonna get a worm on the other one and toss it out and see if I catch anything. Right there. I bet that's one of the fish I'm after, too. Good lord, I think the sun is burning me through my sunscreen. Good lord. Oh, oh lord. If any of my family are watching, they'll get that reference. <laughs> No gator, no gator, no gator, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to face away from that. Oh, man. Look at him, he's so adorable. Oh my goodness. 
No, no, no. Oh, God. Get on, go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, that was rude, but oh my gosh, he's so cute. All right, we're going to have to leave here. Um, I'm going to just, just right there real quick. Oh, God. Look at him. He thinks he's slick. You think you're slick, don't you? Oh, that was a pike. I saw it. Oh my goodness. I saw it in the sun. Like, I saw its red tail and everything. Oh, baby, please. Bite the swim. Oh no, this is a small hook. Y'all remember what happened last time? I chased the dang thing for 20 minutes and had to change to a bigger hook. Which I, did. I, I, I could totally do. Do I want to them? Probably. Dep depends. Okay. Got one. And it's a Lukey. All right. I didn't bring my bag over, so I need to go take a photo of it. <laughs> okay. 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 Yes. Caught it. I caught the pike. Stop, please. Yes! Oh my gosh. He fight, he chonky. Straight down. Whew. Literally like a minute, not even a minute after I said, I'll be back if I catch something or I'm gonna need the video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, if you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment telling me what you thought. Which which fish today was your favorite catch? Um, I know the fight with the red fin. I should have kept recording to get the whole thing, but I didn't. I'm sorry, that's my B. But which, which fish was your favorite catch? Uh, what fish would you like to see me catch next? I will try try my best to catch one. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, please leave a like and a comment, and don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell if you want. I will see you in the next video. God bless and tight lines.